Well, hello and welcome. Today I'd like to give you a little demonstration of the new 3D printed cleanup sluice miller table designed for micro gold. Finally, something to strip the micro fine gold out of the black sand, where actually the bigger pieces are harder to capture than the little pieces. I mean, we're talking little fly poop gold. So I'm going to be running some black sand today from Cape Disappointment in Washington and if anybody's ever dealt with that stuff before it is the hardest stuff to get the gold out of there is very time consuming um, this is a huge help so I'll give you a, a real quick walk through and show you a couple changes and stuff and we'll go from there and then we'll run it Okay, so the miller table itself is 8 inches wide, 14 inches long. The capture area for the mat and the miller table is 8 by 8. So you can run it in the house. Oh, before I get too far, this unit will be available at printingprospectors.com. So you can check it out there. Um, this thing comes with 11 inch high legs. So you can get it up above the tub. You will have to supply your own tub. Comes with a tailing tray. Um, a light. With, uh, we got a light bar that slides up and down. All adjustable in the back as well as the levelers in the back. Comes with a Tsunami 500 gallon hour pump. The hose and the, all the hookups and everything. Comes with a waterproof speed controller that fits right on the side of your tub. I tried this. It fits most of my tubs. If it doesn't fit your tub, you might have to do a little fitting or whatever. It just slides right on there to control your water. Um, for a power supply, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using my uh, pellet stove or my pellet smoker uh, power source there. And then I've just got it hooked up here to the speed controller. It runs on DC. Um, what else? Oh, it'll come with this little squeeze bottle, which we'll get to in a minute. And a brush. And the mat. So I think the first thing to do, I think that covers everything. So the first thing to do is get this mat in here. And I'll show you how we do that. First, I want—I did redesign the mat. This is pretty important. We only got eight inches of uh, capture area, and we don't want to lose anything. So, redesign that, and I'll give you a. Peek. Okay, like I said, I went back and redesigned the mat. That's a close-up. You see all them little layer lines in there. So I upped the nozzle size by over double. Uh, changed the layer height, but look at all them places. In those V's for the micro gold to get stuck. Um, this was a huge improvement. I have tested it and it's probably I would say 99% effective. 98, 99. And of course it's all going to depend on your gold. How you run it. All that good stuff. So. Okay to get this in. Um. This is a high-low V like I was showing you. This is the back, so this is silicone on to here. Just to give it um, nice and sturdy. To get this in, so it fits super tight, don't start down here and try and squeeze it in. You'll never get it, it's too tight. So you come up here, put the top one in, or just put it in like this. Push it back in all the way, and then push it down in here. And it's got to come out the same exact way. Otherwise it's just too tight. Okay. That'll work. Get some water flowing here. This thing is so much fun to run. It's like running a... Running a... Video game or something. Um, this sand I'm running today has got all the 
Magnetite still in it. I haven't taken any of the magnetite out whatsoever. We're going to need just a little bit more angle on that. There we have it. Now with this, I like to scoop it in back here at the back. And then just let it work its way up and over. It'll take me a big bit to get this all going out, but you can already see some gold in there. So let me get this up and going good. Alright, as I'm putting this in, try. This is really hard to, to video, but we'll try. Scoop in. You can see it work across, right? Little pieces of gold in there. But if you get a little build up, Let's get a little bit in there. If you get a build up like, like that, simply take your brush, smooth it out, keeps it working on down. Now with this brush, you will see it very, very handy. All the gold sticking to the plastic and the little riffles up there. Oh, the other thing I, I did mention, you'll have to run it in a tub. There is a little water seepage around these two edges. I didn't want to mess with it. Just because you can adjust the spray bar a little bit more of an angle if you wanted to. So in a tub, it does leak a little bit. But it, it's just coming out these two holes in the side here. There's a nice piece of gold. But I just wanted to put the bigger gold in here just so you can see the difference and it's really hard to do these micro fine pieces of gold. So, get some more sand and put in there. in the back in the deep well part to capture a lot of the gold before it ever even gets to the mat and for me I mean you can see the gold in here I've got one piece about halfway down I can see right there and I'm not seeing any at the bottom so I think you know you be the judge of when you clean it out just to maximize your gold recovery but this will sure take this down to a manageable size to run over the miller table so you can see in the back of the where the angle changes a little bit on the miller table you can see that pile of big chunky gold lined up there and I got one up there so I think if it was me instead of and I it is me so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck that out of there so I don't even have to deal with that on the miller table itself because then bigger pieces are hard to capture. So I'm just going to get rid of that right now. And I'm going to get rid of this one right there. There. Now I'll continue on. There's a couple more pieces back here, but I'll get those once they once they work their way down or whatever, get cleared out a little bit more.
and just keep it moving. So you can see in the back of the where the angle changes a little bit on the miller table you can see that pile of big chunky gold lined up there and I got one up there so I think if it was me instead of and I it is me so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suck that out of there so I don't even have to deal with that on the miller table itself because then bigger pieces are hard to capture so I'm just gonna get rid of that right now and I'm going to get rid of this one right there. There. Now I'll continue on. There's a couple more pieces back here, but I'll get those once they once they work their way down or whatever, get cleared out a little bit more. Just keep it moving. Well, I've got my sand run. Now I'm just going to turn this down. And I'm going to put this all together. I'll give you a picture of it here in a second. Just a little more of that sand. Okay. So besides what I swept up already, there's our gold in the back back there. With just a little bit of sand. When we look at the, the mat, we got all kinds of gold in there. So let me get rid of this. dumped out the snuffer bottle uh, from uh, the part that I sucked up out of the uh, deep well section up there so that never even made it to the mat I'd say that's pretty doggone good and yeah I had a little bit of black sand to get but it took me like 30 seconds to get the black sand out of there not much to deal with at all all right, let's get uh, let's get this. <clears throat> I let most of the water get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna take this mat out. Like I said, if you lift it up down here and you just try and pull, it ain't never coming out. You gotta come up here, lift this up, and then pull it out. And it's a little bit tough. Work that out and try not to spill the cones. Oh, we need to get a big pan to put it in, and I'll go clean this out. And I need to get a little bit of black sand out of the top. Now, 
Got that out. I'm going to go to the kitchen sink and rinse that out with the sprayer. And we'll come back and run the Miller table. Alright, we're ready to run the Miller table. So, there's my tailings down there. Uh, and we took it down to maybe a quarter of a cup of material. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this on. There we go. Now, of course you put it up a little bit more of an angle. Decrease the angle some to make the miller table work right. So, put this back on the holder. I can't do this and hold the camera at the same time. So, now we have a couple different options. You can take a spoon and you can put the material back in here. I wouldn't go too much and then you can take your brush since there's not really enough water pressure to you know push it over you just bring it up to this lip and scoot it in and let it work that way and strip the black sand away Exactly even, we'll have to dress that. There we go, that's better. We can do it that way. Just a little bit. You know, eat the black sand away that way. And of course, you're in control. You can run it fast. You can run it slow. Um, if you're losing gold, I mean, it's on you. You can see it down here. You can bring it back up. And check it. Just to make sure. And then you can brush it off. Because it's got this last chance hump down here at the bottom. Where all the sand will build up. And you can take it and... Brush it back up. A couple little pieces in there. Let it work off that way. So, you can do it that way. There's a nice piece there. Or, you can take this little snuffer bottle, which comes with the kit, and you can literally suck up the sand like that and bring it. And you can put it up here if you wanted to, but I like doing it this way. It drops on there and let it work down. This is a real easy way not to overload the miller table and let it work. I said it's really hard to get this, but you can see some gold in there. This is my favorite way to do it. I said you can run it fast, you can run it slow, you can double check it. Them little riffles in there. Hold on to that micro fine gold really well. And away it goes. Now, you are holding on. You can see the shadow in there of the gold. 
or of the black sand. Sweep it together. And then, up to you when you decide. I mean, you can leave that there. When you suck it up, all depends on what you want to do. But it's there. And you watch it. Oh, no gold down there. If any gold's escaping, you can sure as heck see it. A pretty good piece over there. You gotta watch them big ones, they'll try and escape on you. <clears throat> well, we can turn it up. This is where the video game part comes in. You can turn it up, strip away the sand, turn it back down. Then you can monkey with it. Hard to do it with a camera in one hand or you can brush it back up and you can see all the gold or the sand is just sitting there you turn it up wash it away gold stays put and whenever you're ready Bring in your snuffer bottle. Suck it up. Check the tailings. Make sure we didn't miss any. And we're good to go. See that big piece trying to get away on me there? Turn it down just a hair.
Like I said, this is just a demonstration. You could run it any way you wanted to. But, you're not going to be losing gold, and I love that part of it. Fast to get rid of some of that black sand. There's a piece trying to get away from me there. It won't make it though. We'll suck that up. And as you can tell, you will have a little bit of black sand to deal with, real fine stuff. Check those real quick. I don't see nothing. I ran this for so many hours, different variations of this that uh, I uh, I pretty much know what's down in here. And usually, yeah, once in a while you'll miss a speck, but there's not like you're finding a ton of gold down there. Okay, I'm going to finish running my little bit of black sand there. I'll be back. Yeah, just finishing up the last of that sand. Took me, I don't know, probably 20 minutes. Not too bad. Just suck up the rest of this. Then we'll dump it into a pan. Yeah, there's some going to be some little fine sand in there. I had to use some bigger gold just so you could see it, but. The micro gold, I don't even think you can see it in the camera, but I'm getting the rest of that out. Now that is way faster than panning this stuff. That is for doggone sure. And if I was going to do this again, which I will, um, I would take the magnetite out first. I don't know if that's heavier than the rest of the black sand, but why run it if you don't have to? Okay, that is the last of it. And I don't see any more gold. No, there are a couple little teeny, tiny, teeny, itsy bitsies there. Got them. Okay, let me get this dumped into a pan. So that's what was left. That's what I sucked up out of the miller table. Now there's some really fine black sand that came up with it, but it's pretty dang easy to separate out. So separate out. So let me do that real quick. Okay, here we are. It's the final. This is what I took out of the Miller table part when I ran it over you can see that there and this is what I took out of the deep well when running the uh, cleanup sluice part of it so I would say well over 50% of the gold was captured before it even got to the mat that was in the mat um, let's go back out here 
love this. I get to be in the house where it's warm and run something. Um, this mat is oh badass now. I love this thing. Um, I've checked this three or four times. Yeah, I might have missed four or five specks of gold with the mat. I know I didn't lose any with the Miller table. That's okay. I'm not going to run this all again. To prove the point, you're going to have to take my word for it. Um, the mat's very, very effective um, for getting through that black sand. This is the bomb. I've never seen anything else like it, never used anything else like it. Um, for some reason, you don't like the spray bar, you want to make your own. You can simply slide this out, drill some holes in your PVC pipe, half inch PVC pipe will go right through there. I don't know why you would, but you could. Anyway, um, I'm going to be running this a bunch here in the future. But if you want to get one, they are available at printingprospectors.com. This is not a mass produced type item. It takes 80 hours of print time to print one of these with all the pieces parts. Um, that's a long time, but when you have several printers, it works out okay. Um, those of you that have printers and want to copy of this, um, all I'm going to say is start your research and development. That's all I'm going to say. It took a lot of time to get this, a lot of different prototypes, but I finally got it, and I'm extremely happy with it. Anyway, I think that's about all I got. You can check it out at printingprospectors.com. I hate the inflation we got going on right now, and it is what it is. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And we will catch you next time. Bye now.